conquer the impossible dream and have them come true. Being able to strive for our dreams and goals, um, even when we are facing adversities and encountering barriers along the way. I strongly believe that women are the foundation of communities and because of it, nobody else should be, uh, should be allowed to establish and define who we are. And that's the reason why I believe that it's important for us to finally take within our own hands to decide and define who we are as people, what is our own worth as a woman, and then project it within the community being everything and be okay with it being vulnerable being tough being a leader being a queen being fierce being delicate and be okay with all of that because that's who we are uh, that's in flux and it always has been and i think it's something that always needs to be if we're going to genuinely be constantly examining society who we are as people as communities as nation states, as not nation states, if that's where the world moves, uh, etc. And what are the expectations? All of these things influence what it means to be a woman. That as a woman in the United States of America, it is a mixed bag right now because we are delighted that we have a woman vice president uh, just a heartbeat away from the most powerful human being on earth. But at the same time, we have a tremendous backlash against all the gains that we've made over the decades. And we're having to refight those battles, reproductive rights for gay rights, for all sorts of things that women have fought for over these many years. And there's a contingent in our country that is trying to drag us back to the 1950s, drag us back to the kitchen and to uh, subservience. And so it's very, uh, it's very much a mixed bag right now to be a woman. See you tomorrow with another episode of International Women's Week celebrations.